Now, the man who was the Home Minister when the UPA government decided to execute Parliament attack com convict Mohammed Afzal Guru in the year 2013 does not want to call Afzal Guru a terrorist. Former UPA era Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde, while speaking on a podcast, was asked multiple times if he thinks Afzal Guru was a terrorist. He ducked giving a specific yes or no answer. He said, and I quote him verbatim, we were supposed to implement the Supreme Court's order. As a Home Minister, I was supposed to just do that. The decision was taken by the Supreme Court and I only had to implement unquote. When the journalist hosting the podcast asked him the same question once again, he said, don't get me to say these things. It will be misinterpreted. I only implemented the top court's order. The entire conversation gives one a sense that the Congress stalwart and former UPA minister who once faced massive backlash for using the term Hindu terror seems to be now joining the long list of Ab Abzal sympathizers. The BJP, unwilling to let go of this, training guns at Sushil Kumar Shinde and the Congress party for always what they say, this is the Congress's policy, that this party always sides with terrorists. Listen in to how the BJP is reacting. देश के पूर्व गृह मंत्री सुशील कुमार शिंदे जी अफजल गुरु को आतंकवादी तक कहने के लिए कतराते हैं जब उनसे एक पॉडकास्ट में पूछा गया कि अफजल गुरु पर आपकी क्या राय है तो उन्होंने बोला कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट का फैसला है मैंने इंप्लीमेंट कर दिया जब उनसे पूछा गया फिर से कि फिर आप मानते हैं ना वो आतंकवादी है तो कहने लगे सुप्रीम कोर्ट का फैसला था इंप्लीमेंट कर दिया मेरे मुंह से मत निकलवाओ ये होती है वोट बैंक की नीति राष्ट्र नीति के ऊपर ही बिलोंग्स टू द सेम डीएनए वेयर इट वाज सेड अफजल हम शर्मिंदा है तेरे कातिल जिंदा है सो दे हैव बीन सपोर्टिंग टेररिस्ट और टेररिस्ट एक्टिविटी डायरेक्टली एंड इनडायरेक्टली एंड एंड दे हैव बीन आई बीन आई कैन सी ऑन रिकॉर्ड दे हैव बीन इन टेंडम विद सम फोर्सेस फ्रॉम अब्रॉड हु हैव बीन सपोर्टिंग टेररिस्ट एक्टिविटी इन द कंट्री Shil Kumar Shinde, the former UPA Home Minister, does not want to call Afzal Guru a terrorist. Why? The BJP says sympathizing with Afzal Guru serves the Congress Party's larger appeasement agenda. Remember, Afzal Guru was convicted for aiding and abetting five terrorists who stormed the parliament on December 13, 2001. The attackers were killed in an encounter with security forces and Afzal Guru's role in providing the logistical support to the attackers was a key factor in his conviction. Now, what are the implications? Like, say, for example, when uh, Sushil Kumar Shinde, the man who was the Home Minister, when Afzal Guru was executed, if he now, when questioned on Afzal Guru, refuses to use the word terrorist for him, what does it mean? Let's take our viewers through what Afzal Guru was accused of. He was convicted in the 2001 Parliament attack case. And then the charge that he faced was that he aided and abetted the attackers of the Parliament attack. Let's also tell you about the other charge that, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court took note of that he provided logistical support to the terrorists behind the parliament attack. Nine people lost their lives in the attack and every year we pay tribute to the nine brave hearts of the parliament terror attack who died fighting these dastardly terrorists. Abzal Guru was hanged in February 2013 when the UPA was in power. And now it's Sushil Kumar Shinde who has joined the bandwagon of Afzal sympathizers. Remember before the elections in Jammu and Kashmir, it was Omar Abdullah who had made a pro-Afzal statement. In the year 2013 itself, Sushil Kumar Shinde caused a massive storm when he openly used the term Hindu terror. Let's listen in to what he said when he spoke about Hindu terror in the year 2013. <laughs> या आरएसएस के हो उनके जो ट्रेनिंग कैंप्स हैं वो हिंदू टेररिज्म बढ़ाने का काम देख रहे हैं इस पर भी हमारी बड़ी कड़ी नजर है समझौता एक्सप्रेस सबिसाची इज जॉइनिंग अस लाइव एस वी गेट यू मोर डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस पॉडकास्ट दैट इज नाउ बीइंग क्वेश्चन एंड एंड इन फैक्ट द Intent of Sushil Kumar Shinde, who refused to call Afzal Guru a terrorist, that is now being questioned by the BJP. Now, we heard the BJP say that what's new in this? This is what the Congress party is known for. The Congress too is responding. There are leaders like Rashid Alvi who are saying that it was the president's decision. Ahead of Jammu and Kashmir elections, it was Omar Abdullah who made a statement that was perceived to be one that is in favor of Afzal Guru. And now ahead of Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections, the 
you know, former Home Minister Sushil Kumar Chinde not willing to call uh, Abzal Guru a terrorist seems to be also picking up in the political narrative. Uh, how are the how is the BJP now planning to escalate its attack on the Congress over this entire interview of Sushil Kumar Shinde Sabisachi? Well, uh, the BJP is uh, going to escalate its attack. Uh, see, the BJP uh, has been questioning time and again that uh, the entire Congress uh, leadership as well as the Congress party in the past, how they have failed uh, to take any sort of strong uh, uh, statement against uh, Islamic terrorism. See, the BJP has been highlighting that uh, be it uh, Shushil Kumar Shinde or several other Congress leaders have been sympathizing uh, with these uh, terrorists time and again. And now the BJP also highlights that how Congress in the past have failed to take a strong stand and how it shows that the Congress party's leniency uh, towards Islamic terrorism as well as towards mm. vote bank politics and towards the left-leaning society. So this is what the BJP has been highlighting okay. that it is nothing new. It has been going on Sabi in Sabi the Sabi past. Where several we have Shazad Punawal of the Bharatiya Janata Party joining us. Uh, Shazad, you were the first to highlight that uh, that, that refusal of Sushil Kumar Shinde to not name Abzal Guru despite being repeatedly asked by the journalist who was hosting the podcast. The BJP now says that this is basically the nature and the character of the Congress party to not take a hard stand against terrorists. Congress ka haat hamesha atank vadiyon ke saath. This is the default setting and therefore not just in case of Afzal Guru, which former Home Minister is refusing to call him a terrorist, even though he attacked Parliament where the former Home Minister sat. Apart from that, you remember Rahul Gandhi went to Jaini and stood with Afzal Ham Sharminda hai gang. Hmm. Then you remember Yaqub Memon was defended by Aslam Sheikh, who was a minister in the Congress government in Maharashtra. Then you remember in Bartlas how Sonia Gandhi was crying for the terrorists. You remember how Naxalis were called Shaheed by Supriya Shinet and Kanai. Kumar, you would remember that how Congress party, even in Rameshwaram Cafe Blast, said it was a cylinder blast, not an Atankwadi Ghatna. So therefore, Congress has long done this thing. And on the same podcast, I have sent one more input on this. Please see that he has said that Bhagwa terror was the thing that the Congress used to coin. Hmm. So on the one hand, calling Hindus terrorists was the default position of Congress. But Abdul Guru convicted terrorists was not called a terrorist. Now, do you think this is a well-calibrated design of the Congress party ahead of the Maharashtra elections? Because... Ahead of uh, Jammu and Kashmir elections, it was Omar Abdullah who made a pro-Abzal statement and now this stand of Sushil Kumar Shinde, is this part of a larger design of the Congress party? You are absolutely right, Sagarika, because if you remember, in the Maharashtra Assembly, the leader of opposition, Vijay Vadattivar, gave a clean sheet on 26-11 to Pakistan, saying that Kasab did not kill Karkare. It mm. was actually a Hindu terrorist or Hindu policeman who have killed Karkare. So therefore, this is the vote bank politics, vote bank niti, above Rashtra niti is being done. And therefore, this is absolutely the kind of agenda that they want to come with vote jihad in Maharashtra. And therefore, they are saying this right now. All right. Thank you, Mr. Punawala, for joining they're stepping up the attack on the Congress party over what Sushil Kumar Shinde rather refuses to call Abzal Guru. He says, when he was asked repeatedly, do you think Abzal Guru is a terrorist? He says, I only did what the Supreme Court uh, had ordered and as a Home Minister, that was my job to implement uh, what the Supreme Court ordered. Now, is he the only one? Let's take you through the long list of politicians who have in the past made pro-Abzal comments Omar Abdullah, like we've been saying constantly before the elections itself, said, don't think Abzal's execution served any purpose. Then you have uh, Shashi Tharoor of the Congress party who said Abzal Guru's hanging was wrong and badly handled. Then you also have Asaduddin Uwaisi who said Abzal Guru did not deserve the gallows. Then you have the others in the list, that is Bani Shankar Iyer of the Congress party who in the past said that it was a wrong decision to hang Abzal Guru. So leader after leader, mostly from the INDIA, then there was P. Chidambaram, who once said that there are doubts over Abzal's role in the parliament attack. We have Ajay Alok of the Bharti Janta Party also joining us. Uh, Mr. Alok, ahead of the Maharashtra election, Sushil Kumar Shinde, the former home minister who was at the helm when Abzal Guru was executed, he's asked a question not once, not twice, but three times. Do you think Abzal Guru was a terrorist? He says... He says, uh, don't make me say these things. How do you look at the statement uh, of Sushil Kumar Shinde where he refuses to call Abzal Guru a terrorist? I would like to just recall your, uh, all the viewers that just imagine what kind of internal security we used to have way back in 2004 to 14, when the current Home Minister, 
who was scared of going to Lal Chowk for Tricolor hosting, when a current Home Minister who's still afraid, forget mm. about that time, who's still afraid of not calling Abdul Guru a terrorist who has been awarded death sentence by the Supreme Court, but he's still scared of calling him a terrorist. This is the kind of terror phenomena, fear phenomena they have from their vote bank. That if we are going to say anything about anyone who is a Muslim, then it's going to affect them electorally. And this is really shameful on the part of the Congress party and the part of the leaders that they are still following that appeasement politics. And they are, they are not learning from their mistake. And they will never learn. In fact, they want to create a division in this country in the name of Hindu-Muslim again. So this is part. Thank you, Mr. Alok, for joining us. So the BJP says this is part of the Congress's appeasement politics.